Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about two integrals from the Illinois Qualifying Integration B exam from 2019. In the first one, I have the integral of 1 over x to the power of 17, 29 plus x dx. And for the second one, I have the integral of x to the power of negative 7 over 12 over the third root of x plus the fourth root of x dx. Let's talk about the solution now. To solve the first problem, I'm going to factor out something first and then use a replacement. Think for a moment and then go to the next section of this video. To solve this problem, I'm going to factor out x to the power of 1729 from the bottom of this fraction. This leads to the integral of 1 over x to the power of 1729 times 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 1728 dx. Now the replacement that I will have is 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 1728 is going to be used as t. Let's take the derivative of both sides. The first term, which is 1, which results in 0. For the second term, I will have x to the power of negative 1728. To take its derivative, I can write it as negative 1728 over x to the power of 1729 dx. Then dt is going to be that, and I can say that dx over x to the power of 1729 is going to be negative dt over 1728. Now let's use what we have now. The integral is going to be negative 1 over 1728 integral of 1 over t dt and obviously this can be answered very easily. The integral of dt over t can be replaced with ln of absolute value of t plus a constant c. Now, replacing what I have for t is going to result in minus 1 over 1728 ln of absolute value of 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 1728 plus c. And that's our final answer. Now moving to the second integral. Here I have a fraction. For top, x to the power of negative 7 over 12. And for bottom, I have the third root of x plus the fourth root of x. How am I going to solve this? I'm going to start with using x to the power of 1 over 12 for t. Then t to the power of negative 7 is going to be x to the power of negative 7 over 12, which was the thing that I had. x is going to be t to the power of 12. The third root of x is going to be t to the power of 4, and the fourth root of x is going to be t to the power of 3. On the other hand, d of x is going to be 12 t to the power of 11 dt. Now let's replace whatever I have here. x to the power of negative 7 over 12 is going to be t to the power of negative 7. The third root of x is t to the power of 4. The fourth root of x is going to be t to the power of 3. dx is going to be 12 times t to the power of 11 dt. Now let's simplify it a little bit. t to the power of 11 times t to the power of negative 7 is going to be t to the power of 4. Now, replacing and simplifying t to the power of 3 on the bottom with t to the power of 3 on the top, I'm going to end up with the integral of t over 1 plus t dt times 12. Now I'm going to use a trick here. What I have on the top of this fraction can be written as t plus 1 minus 1 then t plus 1 over t plus 1 is 1, and minus 1 over t plus 1 can be written as is. 
the integral is going to be the integral of dt minus 12 times the integral of 1 over t plus 1 dt. Now I'm going to have 12 times the integral of dt, which is 12t. And then the integral of dt over t plus 1 is going to be ln of absolute value of t plus 1. I will have this 12 times that and then I need to add the constant c. Now I need to use x to the power of 12 for t, the end, I will have 12 times x to the power of 12 minus 12 times ln of x to the power of 12 plus 1 plus c. Note that we already know x to the power of 12 plus 1 is positive, so I remove the absolute value there and the rest is what you see here. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more positive mass involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next video.